Welcome to the next video of our complete engine rebuild guide. In this one we are taking apart the gearbox and removing the drive shaft. In today's video we will take a look at what tools we need to complete this job, a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete it, and in the end we will do a hardware roundup to make sure that we do not lose any of our precious hardware. To make following the content easier you can pause this video at any moment. That said, let's take a look at what tools we need. Because we will use blunt force for this job, we need something to protect the threads on the drive shaft. For me, usually a 17 or 18 mm deep socket does the job. We will also need a hammer or a mallet, decompressing circlips pliers, a sturdy screwdriver, doesn't matter if Phillips or flathead, a 17 mm wrench, and a zip tie. With our tools ready, let's take a look at the step-by-step -step guide on how to get this job done. Depending on the job you're doing, you may not need to take the individual gears out. It is possible to remove the entire gearbox and drive shaft as one unit. If you want to do so, please skip to further down the video when we take the drive shaft out. It is the same process. To remove the individual gears, remove the circlip and the shim that sits underneath the circlip. So you don't confuse the order of gears and the orientation of them. Put everything together in your hand as they come off the drive shaft. Meaning you have your circlip first, your shim and then your gear. Repeat this for every single gear. We still need the bottom shim to be taken out but we gotta remove the cruciform first. So put your gearbox in the same order aside for now. To remove the cruciform, lift up the selector spindle and the cruciform and slide underneath it a screwdriver. Doesn't matter if Phillips or flathead. You use it to lock in place the drive shaft. Using a 7mm wrench, loosen the spindle clockwise. This is the opposite of your normal thread. It is as if you were tightening any normal bolt. And then you can remove the spindle. Remove the screwdriver and then using the small cutouts in the drive shaft to rotate the cruciform around and lift it out. It is only in this small cutout that you're able to rotate the cruciform. The square shape of the arms doesn't allow it to rotate in any other position. This is the only way to get the cruciform in and out. You now can remove the lower shim. Add it in order to the cluster of gears. Use a zip tie to zip tie the whole cluster together. That way you don't mess up the order or orientation. Protect the threads on the drive shaft using a socket. And then with gentle bangs from a hammer or mallet, you can slowly bang out the drive shaft. Slow and steady wins the race here. Before we put away the hardware, let's make sure we have everything. The drive shaft side of the gearbox consists of first gear, second gear, third gear, and fourth gear. The top circlips and a shim, the drive shaft, the bottom shim, the selector spindle, and the cruciform. Thank you for watching. Click here to get to the next video in this series. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you like this, you can support us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.